Hey, my friend, Rodney Walker here. Want to share some more information with you to help you to go about getting those grants for your classrooms. We've been talking about grants for teachers and grants that your school can start going after right now. And I shared with you in the last training that there were five or six things that we need to do. Really, it's six. We use the acronym DESIRE, D E. S I R E. So we got six there. And we said that the D stood for what? Do you remember what that D stood for? We said first, you actually got to discover what the opportunities are. Also said secondly, that there was an E. That E stood for educate. You got to educate. And that's what we're doing right now. I'm educating you on how to go about winning grants and giving you the mindset that you have to have to go about winning them. And then we had S. I said that S stood for you got to strategize. You got to be strategic. And I'm going to show you in today's example a group that became really strategic and started going after grants. And then the next thing I said that was it was I that you got to take the initiative. You got to initiate some action. And then we said that there was R. R stood for do you remember what that was? The R stood for review. Once you start submitting these grants, you got to review to see what the progress is that you're making to see if there are things that need to be tweaked and adjusted on and on. And then finally there was the E and we said that the E stood for, can you remember? No, we already said educate. We said that the E stood for making sure that you and your organization, what is it? I'm waiting. No, I'm waiting for you. You said you knew what it was, right? Okay. You don't know what it is. Let me tell you what that E stands for. The final E is connected with what I'm about to show you right now. Let's go over to NEA and no, that's not the E we're talking about for education, but I'm going to show you real quickly. If you go over, you'll see grants and awards. And I want you to take a look at an article. This is the article, write a grant. And it's a very popular story here. I want you to come back in your own time and I want you to read this entire story. It's right underneath this article on how to write a grant. It's worth reading. But remember I told you that there were some teachers who decided to move beyond doing just selling candy and pizza kits and things of that nature. They decided that they were going to raise some money. They had a school, 250 some odd students in Kelowna, Iowa. Population, look at the population size there. Less than 3,000 people population, less than 2,500, less than 2,400, okay? 2,300, okay? And they went on and raised, look at this, in the past four years, their teachers went and snagged more than a million dollars, okay? So you have a school, 250 students, and they go and snag literally a million dollars over the course of four years. Now, this article talks about them and talked about Beth and Phyllis and the rest of them, what they went to do about moving forward with getting grant funding. And I love it because now they are strategizing, they're working together and they're using that skill in a very, very powerful way. And you'll notice that they had, like I said, in one of the other videos, they had their principal was connected with this as well. He empowered them. Okay. No, that's not what that E is, but he empowered them or she empowered them to be able to go after grant funding. And then as a result, you'll see that they went on and each of them raised various amounts. You see 5,000 that was raised. Phyllis raised 25,000 from a state grant, $25,000 from an NEA grant uh, to teach students oral history through podcasts in the gym teacher Jackie went and got $10,000 okay and you're seeing here that there's some others that the big grand prize came uh, here where one of the teachers ended up landing a big fish for $885,000 through a federal grant uh, that was over the course of two to three year program teaching Chinese and Arabic okay are you seeing how all of this kind of fits in and how all of this works together. They had a team approach. They were strategic. They took the initiative. They had a strategy and that strategy led them to, to, to being able to move forward and, and to not stop, but they had a, a course of action and they took that course of action 
And as a result, they reviewed those proposals and, and you kind of see them here meeting and kind of talking. I had another teacher that I was working with. She did the same thing. And, and what happened, they end up getting some massive funding because it wasn't just some one person working in the room all by him or herself on a computer doing what? I'm grant right. No, it wasn't that. It was the fact that they all pulled together their efforts and started working smart. And then they started looking at the opportunities that existed, which brings us down to the final E. That final E that I talked about in the previous videos was they exploited the opportunities. They didn't explore them. They explored it. They took the opportunities and explored them in a positive sense. It was positive exploitation, meaning that they took full advantage of what was there. What's going to happen when your school starts taking advantage of the opportunities? Once you learn the opportunities, once you use that desire we talked about to discover what the opportunities are and, and to discover those opportunities, it's real simple. Many of those opportunities are over. If you go to grants.gov, if you just simply go to grants.gov, dot grants.gov, you will see over at grants.gov, there's a site and you can go to that site, my friend. And when you go to that site, you can simply go over to search for grants and you can search for education grants and close that out real quickly. You can search for education grants or you can search by categories. And over here, I go by categories. I find that there's 654 grant opportunities right now. It might be more or less whenever time you come and take a look at it, but you'll see that there are all type of grant opportunities that are available. It just takes you going and doing the homework and searching. Real quick, I'm going to go to another way we can go. We can go to the Department of Education, all of the Department of Education grants. I can remove that and just look underneath the Department of Education and see what grant opportunities exist. I'm going to remove that and look for the department and let's see what happens. We see all of these different grant opportunities. All we got to do is take the time to go and read them, see what the opportunities are so that we can then exploit them. Hope this has been helpful for you, my friend. Remember, be brave, be bold, be brilliant. Go take charge. Go get some grant funding. Let me know what you think right below. And if you like this information, leave a like and subscribe. Take care.